Uh, good afternoon. Today I would like to show how our application looks like, but I would like to pinpoint the importance of debugging. If you are in development for a long time, you know its importance. And let's assume, uh, let's have an example, and let's assume that we have some variable test and somehow we know that our program doesn't execute this line, conditional line. And if you look at the if you look at the code, it's not explicitly clear what happens with variable test. And uh, our natural tendency, and I would like to acknowledge that I'm guilty of it myself. This is doing like this, yeah. Test never do this. The good habits are hard to learn and uh, hard to get accustomed to, but it will pay you back. And I know that the rule works only when do like me, but I acknowledge the problem and uh, I will try to never do it myself. Because uh, Why? Because you will spend much more time immediately, right now. It has been proven many times during development flow. Well, it's not an acceptable way of doing this. Another way, which is a correct way, is to debug. If you're working with WebStorm during our two years Angular development, uh, we always use uh, WebStorm debugger. It's uh, very convenient. Somehow, if you try to use it here, first of all, it's very hard to run correctly, and then it doesn't work. But once you manually run not debug and then JavaScript debug, edit configuration, and it starts, it stops on this breakpoint, but it shows very strange result, especially if we are trying to debug uh, our Node.js code. For example, let's assume that in our store we want to get its initial its initial states. It's here. Let's assume that it is pretty common task that we need to check before a response sent with render at React component. We want to get initial state. Why? Because it has to be pre-populated of server-side results. If you put a breakpoint here and run, I just don't want to waste time, it doesn't work. When you manually and force to run it and it stop here, if you try to check what the variable's values, it works very strange. So it will be this one, it will be undefined and uh, most of them will be undefined and you need to look for closures, eventually you can find the value. But debugging in this way is very awkward and uh, you shouldn't do this. Now, uh, what the reason? The reason is that WebStorm, at least in its current version, it has a problem and it's a well-known bug and they acknowledge it. Several tickets has been submitted to their website so you can read on JetBrains blogs. But, uh, so what to do? How to debug it? I spent a day trying to figure out what would be the best way to debug it. And I would like to share my results so you do not spend uh, your valuable time and can immediately debug, check your variables, have a happy workflow. So we cannot use a WebStorm debugger and WebStorm debugger, they have its own debugger. It is possible because Node and version 5, it has uh, its debug options, but we have another issue that we are glad to write our code in ES6, but Babel compiles to ES5 and uh, it is not debugger has problem to understand how to find a source because you don't want to de debug over compiled code. It's still possible to approximate what is where, but it's an incorrect way to do this. And the best way to debug is to install globally 
this package, Babel not debug. This is a LoopNet company developed it. They wrote a lot of Node application and they have a wrapper around your Node code and it's possible then to debug. But there are a lot of issues as well. Mainly, at least, I had issue with debugging a Node server-side application. So mainly this file, it's not a large file, but still it's very important because maybe I will record another very small tutorial to show the problem that I spent uh, several hours. I was guilty because this debugger doesn't work and I was debugging with console log. Oh my goodness, it was awful. So, install it globally. I wouldn't show how to install it. Then, first of all, because in our application in package.json we have a dev pack and inside of dev pack you need to specify that you want dev tools, you want to debug and you want to have a source map. I encourage you to use source map and this is a full and you can see at webpack dev server other settings i found this is the best settings to have complete source map so you can very fast during development debug your application we need to run this we need to split because as you know now i combine dev and uh, i install it in pm run all it's a very convenient package and i run this nodman and dev pack in parallel now we need to split them. First of all, I run only dev pack. I install it in external PowerShell console. So it it it, it uh, and it means I mean it means that I run it somewhere else. No, maybe it's yeah, it's just uh, It's possible. It's possible to run inside a web store but uh, I found that it's better to use if you install that package globally it's better to run them with admin privileges so it starts running then we need to instead of not now because we are running Babel not we do not need to run our runner which calls Babel call register and debugging with that option also very buggy. <laughs> now we can run a server file and it will understand. It starts in my another screen. You got such a console. You need to wait in order to run it. This is our code. This is a WebKit debugger. Compared to WebStorm debugger, maybe it's a little bit, it seems like it's a browser, it's some kind of Unconvenient short uh, version, but I didn't find any functionality that I had and use it inside WebStorm, but WebKit debugger doesn't have. I didn't uh, research how to work with uh, keyboard shortcuts. Mainly I use mouse, but it is possible to do. I encourage you to learn and I'm go also going to learn and uh, use the keyboard shortcuts. But let's go and try to figure out what is our initial state. Because like I said, it's better, it is now open a server source and uh, it is our initial file. And if I put a breakpoint here, and now I need to reload my site. Oh, it's already been reloaded. So you can see I stop at the breakpoint. I can check my variables. There's articles, users. Everything is great. So I can debug and see what the variable and I can do all the debugging uh, functionalities. So WebKit develop, Google developers, they did an excellent job. So I have full debugger. I resume application flow and I have our application working. Now another function, I found that if you need to debug your React application, 
So I remove this breakpoint and uh, with Ctrl P I can open any file and let's assume, let's go to, oh, it, it's, it's already open but I would like to show that always use this Ctrl P rather than uh, searching over your application. It uh, will save you a lot of time. And I will go to main layout and again I open source. You can see that this is our application. If I put a breakpoint here, it wouldn't stop. But there is a way, a convenient way to debug your React code. And uh, let's come here a lot. Huh. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it starts working. Most of the time it doesn't work. But there is a way. I go to my initial, so I need to resume this application. Okay. And uh, I can open the same menu here in my original window. Open main layout source here. And uh, if I put the breakpoint here, okay, I just wonder what would happen. So it stops in our native window and let's resume. Yeah, I found that it's much faster to debug client-side application, right application inside this window and with server using not inspector. I wonder if I put a breakpoint in both places, what would happen? <laughs> because they, they will compete now. Ah, okay, so it, it stops, yeah, it stops first of all inside this uh, inside node inspector so I can see that it is 10 and uh, that's why it doesn't uh, come to this conditional operation. You can try to debug inside uh, node inspector. It's uh, I would say more conveniently to debug it in one place but for client-side application you have a plan B so you can open original window with the same debug console and debug it here. I encourage you to always use a debug rather than trying to figure out with console log and you will be paid back and uh, thank you for uh, viewing this video. In our next tutorial we will continue showing our application development. Thank you and bye.